Hey guys, we're doing another drunk review. Woo! Two in the same year, this is already a record. That was a lot. Right? <laughs> Maybe we'll do three. Uh, speaking of three, we are talking about hey, the I was only Trinity. married for like two years and we did three reviews in that time, so. Well, it got dark. Wow. Damn it, Bryn. We're talking about Blade Trinity. I don't know why we decided Blade Trinity, but it seemed like it fit. This film is entirely filmed in Vancouver. It is filmed in Vancouver. And there's a lot of elements, particularly the beginning of the film, that really do point out that it is shot in Vancouver. It features the waterfront, waterfront, uh, waterfront station. And they somehow, reasons. for some reason, thought that making everything look in this LA orange filter at night was a good idea. It's like it was shot in Mexico. God damn right. An orange Mexico filter. Yeah. But in Vancouver. Yeah. Truly, the whole movie feels like it's a giant music video in terms of consistency, shot value, and CG. Oh, the montage scenes. But all movies from this time feel like music videos. Like every fucking one of them, especially horror movies, which I guess technically Blade Trinity is kind of a horror movie. Are you sure about that? It's but a that, horrifically that upshot bad of Drake movie. The villain. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fair. The upshot of Drake the villain, or they just God, like don't even reference it. I, we have, a, I mean, shit. Dominic Purcell sucks fucking balls. <laughs> he plays he's Dracula in this film. Who, he's the big bad. He's, he's considering you have Dracula. He has less screen time than I swear even the villain in the second movie had. And the first. Steven Dorff's yeah. dope in the first yeah. movie, and he skates uphill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way. This whole movie has such a very weak reason to exist. David S. Goyer really wanted to direct and write this movie, but apparently they were in issues right from the start because Wesley Snipes disliked the script so much, but he was still, I think he was contractually Must obligated been, yeah. to do this movie. He so was he in like the Marvel contracts where you yeah, have to play the actual role films. for 10 no, years. I don't know about three, I don't know if it was yeah. that, oh, God. that sophisticated, but he it's, just tried to make this whole movie a living nightmare. He probably needed the taxman. David S. Goyer wrote this movie and- um, It shows. It's terrible. I'm, I'm a big fan of the Blade franchise. I was making jokes while we were watching this about how when uh, Logan came out and everyone was like, oh, look at that, a successful R-rated comic book movie. I'm like, Blade. And then it was like, oh, Black Panther came out. Oh, a successful black comic movie. I was like, Blade. Blade is a successful movie. It does well. The first Blade is awesome. The second Blade is done by Guillermo del Toro, which isn't good until you watch like the rest of his movies. But even then, then it's still kind of dumb. It's bad. But, it's still but if you watch the rest elements. of his movies, you're like, you see what he's doing. It's like watching Alien 3 and realizing how good Fincher is, despite the fact that that movie sucks. Yeah, that's not good. That's not a good example. But though. it is though, because you can see what he was trying. Well, it's like saying, James, "Hey, James Cameron directed Terminator, so let's go watch Piranha." Piranha Two. <laughs> uh, James Cameron directed Piranha Two: The Spawning. So get your fucking movies right. <laughs> so Blade Trinity is what Ryan Reynolds' first action. Evening, ladies. Well, it's probably his first action movie. Yeah, He'd definitely been in some shit before. But yeah, his. It's great. Guy. It's like he's great in this movie. I he's love Ryan Reynolds. Just a movie. muscle damn, he's bound, he's fucking zero body fat. He's like, typical Ryan Reynolds. He's yeah. right. It's, it's, yeah. it's he's fuck you, Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds. It's also Ryan Reynolds' first appearance in the MCU, ish. And, and it's it's what his third comic book movie, yeah. fourth comic book movie. He, he, he's just a quick machine the first. in this film. That he like, has the best line of the whole fucking movie. He does. He what does. is the line? The line. Oh, are we allowed to say the line? You cock juggling thunder cunt. Gobbling thunder cunt. Yeah. <laughs> there's so much that. swearing in this movie. It's great. That's, there's very few elements of which to enjoy this movie. <laughs> Oh, but but we, haven't, we haven't touched Jessica Biel. Yeah, I bet you want to touch <laughs> Jessica Biel. Yeah, I thought that was coming. She prefers it that way, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the shower scene was unnecessary. My butt feels cold thinking about like, sitting on those tiles. It's just her in like a huge surgical shower. Which, yeah, it's a really big shower. A really it big is. shower. It's a really big shower. Because just part, naked I mean, on the floor again, crying. I don't mind but Jessica really Biel. Sad. But it's the idea that they're just having shower. a shower on the McBarge. It she is on the McBarge. It is on the McBarge. For those of Night you stalkers. who don't know, yes. the Mcbarge is a, like it used to be relic. McDonald's. It was Expo 86. Expo yeah, 86. Expo 86. Yeah. It was McDonald's on the water in Vancouver and has since moved over towards Mission, which is like an hour and a half outside of Vancouver. It's a 
But it's just a derelict, shitty ass building. It's floated around the rivers. These guys have decided to make a movie. And it's been in other movies. And it has been in a lot of movies. It still gets used. It's this derelict 1986 McDonald's that's been used for so many different things. There was one guy who had a YouTube video about how he was going to board it. And by doing so, took an inflatable dinghy out to it, sabotaged his own dinghy, climbed on it because. He was in. Did distress. he get arrested? He did get arrested. He did get arrested, yeah. But he still posted the video. It's yeah. on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Jeremy, I hope you find that link. Ryan Reynolds and Jessica Beale have the other people who they work with being Patton Oswald and the black guy. Because literally, did anyone remember his name? I don't think no. they gave his name. They didn't give him a name. He was, he was totally. He drove Pat and Oswald's car. great. And, and um, uh, what's her nuts? Natasha Leone. Yeah. The blind girl? As the blind girl who uses Who's a computer the, the whole movie. Yeah, the security. She yeah. watches computer film. Like, the, the security footage. Just just take that in, folks. What the fuck is wrong with you? You think this is a joke? Use it. Use it. Whistler Use dies. It. Whistler dies. Get out, boy! He wanted out so badly. I, again, I'm pretty, doesn't he die in every Blade movie? Yes, like, but I he, swear to God. He, it's like a, a speed race here. <laughs> he's like at the beginning of like... It's like the first 15 minutes he's dead. Not even. I think it's like the first 10 minutes. Is yeah. it? His death ends the first act. Oh, yeah. Okay. Story speaking. That's giving way too much credit to David S. Goyer for the also idea giving, of a story. Yeah, I was going to say, you give him a story. He basically yeah. takes the cliff notes of the first movie... <laughs> Adds Dominic Priscilla, who's doing his best Creed Rhodey impersonation as Dracula. Is this where we cue the music? Can you take me high? Every time he appears, it just feels like he's exuding douche. Got like Amber Comey and he's got, Fitch. He's got the open got chest and on. like the, the necklaces. Killing the Hot Topic employees. Notes. Dominic either... Priscilla sucks in this movie. He sucks at everything. Everything, everything he's ever done. You can like Prison Break as much as you want. Dominic Purcell fucking sucks balls. I'm gonna say that as someone who's worked on fucking the tomorrow, whatever that fucking show is. Dominic Purcell sucks and he chirped Vancouver, so fuck him hard. In terms of a villain, you can't even say he's a bad villain because he has to have been in the movie and done things. That like he just sword fights Blade and tells Blade he's awesome. That's all he does. Yeah, that's it. Ready to die. I was born ready, motherfucker. Motherfucker. I like that. That's the best part of the movie, where he realizes that Blade is the future of vampirism. Like, that's a great moment Day for a character. Day it just Walker. fucking sucks balls that it's in this movie with those actors. Daywalker. And that writer, and oh. that director, and that filmmaker, editor. Everything about this movie just kind of feels like they hired out a bunch of music video directors to do a lot of the second montage. second <laughs> unit footage. And In montage. from how the story progresses, the fight scenes aren't bad, but they're definitely not good either. And when the film finally comes to the end after all of the Apple product montages, <laughs> And the alien Wait, wear, what? which was really weird. FBI what? apparently used alien wear. Yeah, I didn't, why would they have alien wear computers? Because they sponsored the movie, <laughs> jackasses. In the end, this movie is just as forgettable, I feel, as it has always been. There are a few lines here and there that we remember. Cock gobbling thundercut. Because of how crude, bad, or dumb they are. No, some of the, honestly, like the whole repartee between like Ryan Reynolds and Parker Posey, it's always fun. It doesn't matter what world it's in, like it's always those two play well together. Triple H is in. This. Like he's kind of fun, honestly. Like he is. He gets he, shot in the he eyeball. He looks chubby, and then he doesn't pull the arrow out for but like three and a half hours. But he has a full head of hair because it's 2005. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's not bald Triple H. This yes. is still Jeremy. W Look jealously WWF at him the whole movie. F era, yeah, this right? would have been WWF still. This would have been Attitude Era. Yeah. No, technically. I don't know. No, I think that the transition had happened at this point. Had it by 04, really? Yeah, Maybe. I think possible. it had happened at this point. Either way, this movie still sucks, though. <laughs> yeah, no, it's garbage. I mean, it's terrible. What's your rating there, Jeremy? Let's, oh, yeah, God. let's get a rating. It, I would give this movie a passing generous two. Yeah. Out of seven. Right here. That's, that was their head. Uh, Rihanna's gonna go next. I was gonna give it a two. Two out of seven? Any reason why? I have, well, I have not seen it in 20 years, and now I remember why I haven't re it, so <laughs> that's... Yeah, it's getting a two. Uh, Dominic Purcell sucks balls um, in every role he's ever been two in. Balls. From all the prison breaks and, lead, like, 
Tomorrow's and all the shits he's done. Dominic Purcell sucks. He drags this movie down. Parker Posey and Ryan Reynolds elevate it. They elevate it to like a 1.85 at best. So I'm going to go ahead and round up to a 2 out of 7. I'm going to give it a 4 because Ryan Reynolds is shirtless. <laughs> I fucking love Ryan Reynolds. That's I mean, I'm down with Ryan Reynolds shirtless. I mean, he's not wrong. Right. Ryan Reynolds looks very good shirtless. I can't dissuade him on that, but if he was a whole movie, maybe a four. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Reynolds gets a four. The rest of the movie gets a three. I don't know. Three is still probably. Yeah, I really like it. It's that era of like post it's high fun. school for us. It's shot like a music video. It's, it's nostalgia. Got aspect. It's all filmed in our hometown. I you just, can like home spot the whole movie. I can't justifiably give this thing anything better than a two because this movie sucks, but it's fun. It's it's a blast. I love this movie. I like it a lot. Also, it's part of the like pre-Marvel era. Yeah. So I really like it because it's like the foundation. This movie the almost MCU killed it. Four years before <laughs> Iron Man. Yeah, but the MCU started off of this. Love all right, all. guys. Hope you enjoyed the Bye. video. We will see you again on the next one. Bye. All right. I'm going home. Shut up. <laughs>